Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, boy. What's up, Donna? What's up, Rose? Ferret? Norman? Joe? How are we all doing today? All right. Time for more Batman Arkham Knights. So, good news is, guys, I think I've got the audio sorted out. It should be better this time. The bad news is it's not fixed the way I wanted it to be fixed. Uh, I've got it kind of jerry-rigged here to a speaker, and if I move too far in any direction, uh, <laughs> I'm going to rip out this very short headset cable from the speaker, and it's going to ruin everything. But we'll try to avoid that. Um, the game is actually quite quiet right now, but as soon as we get in here and start making noise, uh, if you guys could just let me know how it's, how it's balanced out, whether there are any problems. I think it should be good, but you know, it's good to make sure. I am hoping to stream for a good long time today because I want to play the hell out of this game, but we'll see how it goes. It is Sunday night after all. Playing as James Gordon, guys. Can you believe it? What is even going on? Great. How the hell am I supposed to get in? Voice pattern analyzed. Identification confirmed. Welcome, Commissioner Gordon. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jonathan Banks being Jonathan Banks. Unbelievable. Actually, I'm going to turn this up a little bit for myself, which should be totally independent of your volume. <sighs> That's the nice thing about using a speaker with an analog volume adjuster. If you guys remember when we last left off, we were in Ace Chemicals with Batman. And all of a sudden, a wild Joker appeared and shot us in the face. Apparently it was super effective what the because hell is this place? we've been reincarnated as Jim Gordon. I couldn't help but notice that wasn't subtitled. What's what's going on with that? Why would subtitles be off? They were definitely on the last time I played this game. Man, that makes no sense at all. But okay, sure. Talk to prisoner. Well, somebody policed your ass because you're locked in here. So, <laughs> what do you think about that? Oh, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. You are the police commissioner. Your face was on that billboard they replaced with mine. <laughs> what are you waiting for, old timer? Johnny C doesn't do requests. Johnny C, huh? That's a cool name. Got him. If you try to come between us, I'll carve you a smile so wide your head falls off. <laughs> that reminds me of a uh, the roast of Bruce Willis. When somebody called Joseph Gordon Levitt, they called him Joseph Boredom Levitt. It's it's the same joke. I just realized they literally substituted Gordon for boredom. That's that's crazy. That's a shame. Seriously, now I'm trying to remember who made that joke. Because they literally, like, made the same joke that this game makes. That's crazy. Like, I'm not saying that they stole it. Like, they probably, you know, whatever. Probably didn't even know about it. But, yeah. That's just really funny. Tom, ah! I'm glad you came, Jim. You need to see this. What is this place? Who are these people? Before it killed him, Joker sent his infected blood out to all the hospitals in the state. I know, we tracked it all down. We missed some. How? Hospital errors. Transfusions that went unrecorded. Five people were affected. 
untreated, the blood's gestated too long. It's altering them. They're becoming... Joker. My God. It's a form of Kreutzfeldt-Jakob disease, but mutated beyond anything on medical record. What about that one? He doesn't look like the others. Henry Adams. He's been infected the longest, but he's symptomless. Immune to Joker's blood. I've got Robin running tests to find out why. One thing's for certain. Henry's the key to all this. I've cooperated. I've done everything you asked. You said it would only take a few days. You can't hold him here against his will. We're close, Jim. We can't let him go until we save the others. Wait. You said five. I only count four. There's one missing. Dun dun dun. Which movie Joker is my favorite? Uh, Heath Ledger. Easy. It's not even a question. I know that's the cliche answer, but like, come on. It's Heath Ledger. Raising Joker. Together, we're going to give this city what it deserves. A new Batman. A better Batman. A darker more. Well, we can come back to this later. First, we need to agree on some priorities. Sure, you've saved the city by reducing the blast, but Ace Chemicals is still about to explode. You need to start looking out for yourself. Right. After all, you're brooding for two now. <laughs> As if there wasn't enough dialogue in this game, now we're gonna have Joker talking at us for the whole game too. This actually took me a while to figure out the first time I played this, I remember. <laughs> oh, bad time. Missed you. All the subtlety and nuance of a napalm enema. A <laughs> napalm enema. <laughs> Oh boy, driving time. I don't think this is actually really timed. You kind of take your time with this, I think. It's a cool sequence. All that rubble. Alfred. Oh, thank God. When the explosion... I thought you might be... It's okay, Alfred. I managed to reduce the blast radius and prevented the toxin from spreading into the city. But what about Scarecrow? Or this Arkham Knight character? They've got tanks, missiles. Their forces are all over Gotham. Crane got away. I was exposed to his toxin. Good Lord, are you all right? Remember what happened at the asylum? It's okay. I had a bad reaction, but it's over now. I freely got to hand it to Scarecrow. I've never been a fan of his concoctions up till now, but this match, it's uh, <laughs> intoxicating. It really brings out the me in you. <laughs> Sir, did you hear what I said? Commissioner Gordon has been trying to contact you. Thanks, Alfred. Jim. You got out. See, I said you wouldn't let me down. I need to speak to you. Sure. What is it? Meet me outside GCPD prisoner detention. I'm heading there now. All right. Off we go then. I think I'm going to go on foot. That sounds more fun than driving right now. And... Alfred, analyze the militia forces. Troop deployments, equipment, movements. I want to know exactly what I'm up against. I'll perform a full analysis of the occupying forces 
and report back shortly, sir. I was going to say, maybe we could pick up some side quests along the way. Not sure if anything's actually unlocked right now. What's Riddler got going on? Find Riddler's trophies, all of them, to draw him out. I wasn't sure if they would let me do the Catwoman stuff again. I kind of wanted to. But... It's talking about finding trophies, so I don't know. I hit the button four times, called the Batmobile, and it just wasn't coming. Let me make sure I'm going to the right place here. Um, yep, yeah, right down here. I want more of the side content to open up, because I want to get kind of a jump start on a lot of that stuff. I can't wait to see the look on his face when you tell him his daughter's been kidnapped. <laughs> and it's all your fault. Joker's such a dick. Going to be Volume's good? Excellent. Excellent. Hey, what's up, Indy? Batmania, Batmania, Batmania. I've got to go. Batman's this is here. the best intro of all time. What's wrong, Jim? Come on, you're scaring me. It's Barbara. She's been taken. No, no, no. I spoke to her. She said she got out. She left hours ago. Stay calm. We'll get her back. Which one? Who's got my little girl? Scarecrow. They took her from the clock tower. All right, we need to go. There could be a clue. Something that will lead us to her. I'll follow. Stay in contact. You've got to tell him it's your fault at some point, Bats. And the great thing is, I'll be standing right there when you do. I agree, Norman. I mean, not that Mark Hamill has ever been bad as Joker, because that's never happened. It's dangerous but... out there. Drive slow and let me deal with any trouble. Why did I let this happen? There's no way you could have predicted this, Jim. It's my job to predict it as a cop and a father. The whole thing's gone down on my watch. Man, they really got the handcuffs on my driving right now. Here we go. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> and there's the other one. Damn, Jim. <laughs> he just took off and left me back there. Get in the back mobile. I'll take us to the clock tower. Freaking left me in the trenches taking grenades, guys. Okay. Oh, here we go. That, that was weird. Just get us there in one piece, Batman. We're running out of time. <coughs> Ugh. You don't mind me saying your real name? I typically tend to stick to screen names. It just kind of depends. Sir, before you head to the clock tower, I thought you may like to hear the analysis of the Arkham Knight's forces you requested. What have you got, Alfred? I've set the Bat Computer to analyze militia presence across the three islands and provide you with a real-time representation of the occupation's strength in each zone. As you can see, Miyagani Island is heavily occupied, with a substantial drone ground force controlling the roads. Founders Island is the militia stronghold, protected by long-range radars and a missile launcher. I'd recommend keeping the Batmobile away from there for the time being. But, but... The remaining drone forces on Bleak Island have been redeployed to protect the clock tower, so expect significant resistance. Thanks, Alfred. I'm heading there now. Nice work, Alfie. You know, I can always count on that guy. Sergeant! Yes, sir? Extraction squad's down. Take control of the clock tower drones. He's coming. Switching to manual control. I'll stop him, sir. No, you won't. Oh, 
All right, hacking time. I love this ability. Sir, I've lost control of a drone. He's overriding my control protocols. Hack the, hack the drones and make them do the work for you. Rattler's been hit. That's good shit. There are militia troops all over the clock tower, Jim. You'll be safe in the Batmobile. I'll let you know when the area is secure. I'm not just sitting here while you go after those bastards. Yes, you are, Jim. Barbara wouldn't want you to get yourself killed. I'll be in touch the minute I'm done. The second. That man laying down the wall. Oh, you're absolutely staying right where you are, sir. Best believe. All right. Let's clear this place out, make it safe for old Jimbo. Right off the bat, this guy's got to go. Didn't know that guy was over there. <laughs> Thank goodness for smoke grenades. Wow. Yeah, so I got spotted for about half a second there. Immediately threw a uh, batarang and still lost about a little more than half my health. So, yeah. They, they really don't fuck around in this mode. When it comes to, uh... Doing damage with guns. Oh, really? Whatever. I was trying to do a stealth on that guy. Didn't really work. But it don't matter. <laughs> Got him. Well, that was messy. Meet me in the clock tower. All right. Gordon's gonna meet us there. I'm not sure how he's gonna get out of the Batmobile, but eh, not my problem. writing in this game. <laughs> Just wait till your father gets home. He's going to be furious about all this mess. Show a little spine, guys. Yep. Recreating one of the most famous moments from all of Batman. It's a really fucked up thing, honestly. This is what happens when you drag your friends into this crazy little game of ours. Man, Batman is straight up tripping balls, guys. Ah, nothing like a trip down old memory lane, eh, Bats? It's not and good. now a front row seat to the main event. You would have thought old Jim Gordon had been through enough. First, some handsome young maniac cripples his daughter. Now he's blaming himself for her being taken. You really should tell him this is your fault, Bats. I'm sure he'll understand. I mean, it's not like you went out and got his daughter killed. Well, not yet anyway. The night's still young. Yikes. Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, shit. Oh, God. 
it? No. This isn't your fault, Jim. Of course it is. Crane's done this to get to me. I should have been here. There's something I need to show you. We haven't got time. She's not like us. Oh, you've never been more wrong, Jimbo. You don't even know it. I believe five days till The Last of Us 2 comes out on Friday. She's strong, Jim. Stronger than you realize. She works for you? This is all your fault. I will find her. She's my family! My daughter! She's all I've got! I never should have trusted you. Never! Hey, that thing was expensive. I'll do this on my own. Stay away from my family. Ah, uh, he just needs a little time to cool off. Hey, Crimson Vampire, welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? I think that went quite well, considering. Of course, I wouldn't have told him, but that's why it's so liberating being me. <laughs> You've got a lot to look forward to, Bats. Does Vicky Vale appear in any Batman games? Uh, yeah, she's actually, she appears in this game. I mean, briefly, she's not in it a lot. And I can't remember if she was in any of the preceding games. She may have been in Origins as well. I need to find out what happened to Barbara. They covered their tracks by disabling the clock tower security cameras. If I hack the municipal CCTV system, I should be able to monitor all access points to the building. Actually, she may have been in City. There's one game where you save her from snipers. I can't remember which game it was. Now that I'm put to it. She is in Arkham City too? That's the one where you save her from a bunch of snipers, isn't it? Alright, what are we doing here? Looking for footage of stuff. That is City? Thought so, yeah. That's the Arkham Knight. He's got Barbara. I need to confirm which car he took her in. That's true. She is in the Telltale Batman as well. There. That's the vehicle they took Barbara away in. Those tires are Amertech D60s. I can program the Batmobile to track their unique tread pattern. It'll lead me right to them. No, I'm still uploading to YouTube. I'm just not caring about video quality anymore. Initiate shutdown procedure. Lockdown clock tower. Authorization. Batman. Now that I think about it, how did Scarecrow know to go after your IT department? I mean, I had no idea she worked for you when I shot her. I just got lucky. Honestly, I'm not really caring about anything I was aiming in regards to YouTube. I was aiming for a head, he says. Um, no, I'm just... Oh, if I'd only had a video camera when I swept Barbara off her feet. <laughs> Poor old Jimbo had to make do with a slideshow. This is going to keep happening over and over and over again for the rest of this playthrough, by the way. There's so much Joker dialogue, and I can't talk over it in good conscience. That would just be wrong. But, um... No, so I'm streaming in 720p, and, um... You know, before I was really adamant about having my YouTube uploads be in seven, uh, be in 1080p 60, and it's just become too much of a pain in the ass to worry about that for not really any return, if I can be honest. So I'm just exporting the Twitch archives to YouTube, throwing them up, and it just is what it is. I'm not really pursuing YouTube anymore, you know? I, honestly, if 
if it wasn't for like having a decent amount of people tell me that they really like the YouTube archives, I probably wouldn't even do it anymore. Because it's just, it's not worth my time. So, you know, I think my future on YouTube pretty much amounts to being having it be like a dump for all my archives. What's going on over here? I'm gonna find the bat, drag him out of that tangle. The tire tracks will lead me to Barbara. I can use the Batmobile forensic scanner to follow them. Oh, right, I forgot about that. The battle mode forensic scanner. It doesn't really make any sense that it's in battle mode. Alfred, I want the Arkham Knight's name. As do I, Master Bruce. He has presumably chosen that title for a reason. Where do you suggest we start? Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange. Hmm. And Alfred. Yes, sir. If they knew about Barbara. Activate the Batcave security protocols. Oh. Don't drop your guard. That shot got the Riddler informant too somehow. Speaking of the last, uh, the Last of Us, you guys want to know something a little funny? What the hell is this? Oh, this is our tutorial for the uh, campaign for disarmament. Alfred, the militia have deployed a device. It's burrowed deep into the road. Yes, I see it. Similar devices are being planted across the city. I'll investigate. So, you guys may remember the whole saga I had with my The Last of Us pre-order from Amazon. I need to investigate that device. It could be dangerous. On foot? Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's, so I pre-ordered the special edition of The Last of Us 2 on Amazon, like, a long time ago, and then I needed to update it's the shipping bomb. address. A well-armored one. And it took, like, In that case, uh, should you a month of dicking price. around with Amazon to get them to update that address for me. It was a huge pain in the ass, but I finally got it. Once we're hacked in, I can expose the core and defuse it with a controlled explosion. Very good, sir. Though I should warn you that the militia has already deployed a platoon of its unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. <laughs> they won't. Yeah, so that was the whole thing. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Uh, so I thought that was all good to go. The other day, they sent me an email telling me that my copy of The Last of Us is scheduled to arrive, like, the Tuesday after it comes out. Like, next Tuesday. Which is, like, four days after the game comes out. And I'm like, oh my fucking god. So I get an Amazon chat. And I'm like, hey, I pre-ordered this video game a long, long time ago. I really want it on release day. That's supposed to be, you know, I have Amazon Prime. Games are supposed to show up on release day when you have Amazon Prime. And they were like, well, we don't know. Like, it depends on what carrier it gets. And it's not really a guarantee and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Cancel it. I don't care anymore about the stupid special edition. It's an extra 20 bucks. The only reason I wanted it anyway is because it has a steel book, and I love steel books. So, that'd be nice to have, but it's not worth all this bullshit. I just said, cancel it. I'm not buying from you anymore. And, uh, I guess on Friday, I'll just have to, like, run to Target or something to get a copy on my lunch break. I'll just go buy it from a brick and mortar store. Alfred, the Arkham Knight's trail leads into Miyagani Island. Lower the Mercy Bridge. I, I can't, sir. We're locked out. The militia must have hardwired into the transport control system. Find me their access point. Right. 
tracing the network traffic, it seems to have all been rerouted to Grand Avenue Station. Then that's where they'll be. I'll proceed on foot and take over their access point. Yeah. I'll contact you when you're able to lower the bridge. Be careful, sir. Mirgani Island is rife with militia drones and troops. I don't care. I ain't scared. Don't buy from GameSpot or uh, GameStop. Oh, dude, yeah, I know. I go there as little as possible. The station's crawling at the Arkham Knights militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network. I actually worked at GameSpot. Wow, I can't even say it right anymore. I actually worked at GameStop for a long time. Back in my younger days. Now. I already have the hacking device. Will they let me do this? I need to get closer. Damn. Is there a way to upgrade the range on that? There we go. Alright, so you're not supposed to be able to do this yet, but seeing as how it's New Game Plus, I can download the codes to the drone and make it attack other people. They have a small surveillance drone circling the rooftop. It's equipped with an energy weapon. I need to be careful. I can disable the drone if I take out the soldier operating it. Why is GameStop bad? They just... They're not good for the industry. And they have a lot of bad business practices that have screwed over a lot of people. Uh, I can give you a personal anecdote from the time I worked there. Uh, when I worked there, um, Sega issued a reprinting of Res on PS2, which was a game that was really popular, but it had a really small initial printing, so um, the use price was actually pretty high. It was like a $55 game used. And then Sega issued a reprint of new copies and set the retail price at something, I don't remember what it was, it was probably like 20 or 30 bucks. It was something cheaper than a full price game, you know? And uh, oddly enough, a couple days after that reprint, we started getting shipments in our store of a whole bunch of used copies of Res. They looked pretty good. They looked almost brand new, but they had all been cut open and gutted. And they were being sold for the used price at $55. And it was like... That was one of the final straws for me. I was like, I cannot continue to work in this fucking place. There's just... They're awful. They're so slimy. They do shit like that all the time. Um... Anyways, so with this drone, we can take out three people at once. I'd like to get at least two. It's hard to get three. But you also got to get them together. Which these guys don't like to do naturally. Let's make a little noise, shall we? Now they're all on like the opposite side of the drone. Let's make a little noise here too. Why the hell not? I'll shoot him down and see what happened. He literally did shoot him down. Let's freeze that guy. Where'd the drone go? Oh, you know what? I think I took out the drone operator, which means I can't use the drone anymore. Oops. but that's okay. 
I think he's the last one. Yep. Now, if I can get a stealth takeout on him, that'll recharge my fear takedown for later, which would be good. There's just one left, Batman. Stop playing around and finish him. <laughs> we have plenty more. Patience, Arkham Knight. Patience. Gotta let me do this my way, man. Ooh, that was close. He almost turned around and saw me. Yeah, isn't that some shit? That's some shit, isn't it? That GameStop story. With the Arkham Knight's men taken care of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. They also, like, systematically terminated all of my benefits while I was working there. Like, little by little. Because I was what's called a senior game advisor, which is basically a store manager, but without all the benefits of a store manager, like all the benefits and pay. Like I had keys to the store and everything. I handled the money in the safe, I went to the bank, did all that shit. But I made like $7 an hour, <laughs> like literally. Um, and I, when I started, I had benefits like health insurance and uh, personal days that I could use. Stuff like that. And over time, they just took them all away. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie. Here we go. You confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know. It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shock, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me. I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already. I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies. Okay. I can do that. Uh, yeah, I agree 100%. I think that this game, the way this game writes the Riddler is, like, absolutely perfect. Like, that's that's what the Riddler is in my head, is what this game does. Like, just a, a complete egomaniac, you know, unable, like, completely unable to admit that he's ever wrong or subpar in any way. Uh, a, a real wanker. I, I think his characterization is just absolutely perfect in this game. What do I think about this game in general? Uh, I love it. I think it's a it's an absolutely amazing game. It's the it's you know probably the best Batman game ever made, pound for pound. Now I do have issues with some story stuff, and as I've mentioned before, I think there's maybe a little too much Batmobile. But I I do think that the the stuff that this game does well completely outweighs the stuff that it does wrong. That's when the fun starts. I like how all the thug voices are like really cartoony. I can't believe Riddler caught the cat. Alright. I don't know if we're gonna do a hundred percent of the riddles in this game. In fact, I'm almost positive we're not. But it's still fun to get the Riddler informant stuff when possible. Ooh, 
that was brutal. Come here. Perfect free Riddle flow. Ass, Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything. I swear. I tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do. I love how they acknowledge that the goons actually run around and place the trophies. Just that image of these thugs, like, walking around with trophies. Like a bag full of trophies. Just, like, passing them out. Okay, you go there, you go over there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. Hey, it's Catwoman! With the awesome skin. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? All right, we get to play as Catwoman. I don't remember all her individual moves. She can do some fun things. Let's try this. Yeah, like that right there. Isn't that cool? All yours. What a pair you make. Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it's glad on Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than pitting things. About time. God damn, I'm good. <laughs> no doubt you enjoyed that, detective. It's the most fun you'll have. I don't know who Matt Reeves is. Is that the new movie coming out with Robert Pattinson in it? Feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom. <laughs> <laughs> but don't despair, Dark Knight. You, you, you did one challenge already. So let's see how long it takes for you to turn a running start into a stumble and fall. Take that rocket-fueled roadster and head on over to Chinatown, Detective. Your second test is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. Okay. I was going to say, oh, there's the option. I was going to say, can, can we not talk to him? It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it. Remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people. Thank you for the follow, Crimson Vampire. I appreciate that. Now, where's my key? Do you do a lot of work for Riddler? Only when you're not looking. Selena. Someone wants something stolen? I'm the one who steals it. You know how this works. Or did you think you'd reformed me? Indeed, Look, Mr. indeed. Tall, dark and brooding. Quit looming and start helping. All right. Yeah, I forgot. We can kind of teabag in this game, but it's it's harder with uh, Batman because if you don't time it right, you do the quick throw of the ice grenade. What are you waiting for? Why so your you companions are out? better teabagging people. Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Oh yeah. Well, Batman, old boy, this is... I need to go back to the bridge to bring the Batmobile onto Miyagani Island. ...friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped. 
Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, <laughs> you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. Oh, Jesus. What a fucked up thing to say. That's so messed up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that they had confirmed the uh, villains for that new movie, but that's cool. We haven't had a live-action Riddler since Jim Carrey. I think he may be breaking out the weed killer. Who wasn't bad, but it, he was less like the Riddler and more like the Joker, I felt like. Fine, Enigma. I'll play your games. Because he's Jim Carrey, you know? Selena's life depends on it. But yeah, okay, now we can do some side stuff. We can have, at least do this first Riddler thing. And I guess, um... Yeah, we can also start cleaning up some of these militia things that we find scattered about. These are usually pretty fun too, just because they're... They're usually like a unique challenge somehow. Just, you know, unique configurations. This one actually appears pretty straightforward though. Threw a box at him. Damn it, I couldn't do the blade dodge takedown. It's so hard on this mode. I tried, guys. You what the son of a bitch. This fight's actually going pretty poorly. What? Yeah, that could have been a lot better. Hey, Valerian, what's up, man? Where would I rate Batman Forever? I, I actually like Batman Forever more than most people. And part of that could be nostalgia, because that was like, that was actually the Batman movie that I watched the most as a kid. Like, I had it on VHS, and I didn't have the other ones. So I just watched Batman forever, over and over and over again. And, I mean, it's... It's certainly not as terrible as Batman and Robin. Even though it, it kind of heads in that same direction. It They hadn't really gone fully that direction yet, you know? A challenge beneath it's like halfway between Batman Robin, Returns and Batman and Robin. In terms of camp and stupid shit. And honestly, there's not even really necessarily anything wrong with camp in a Batman movie. It's just that Batman and Robin took it way too far. Batman Forever is at least fun because of Jim Carrey. It's not like a complete train wreck. Yeah, it, it's a fun movie. There's still like good things about it. It kind of splits the difference between taking itself seriously and being campy. Which I think is okay. Whoa, okay, that was weird. I landed on that car when I didn't intend to. And then Batman like... Oh, this is really weird. Okay. Having these cars. Oh, okay. <laughs> he ran me over. Get shot, idiot. Balancing act. I don't think this one's a race. And he didn't care for Batman Forever. I mean, if I watched it today for the first time, I'd probably be like, ooh. You know, I think, like, as a kid, it was good. And I think the nostalgia probably sticks with me. But even as a kid, Batman and Robin was always shitty. I remember seeing it. I remember my mom took me to the movies to see it, along with our cousins. I, I remember that night. They won't understand a thing, of course, but they'll come. 
And I remember coming home and talking to my Nana because we lived with her at the time and her asking me how the movie was and me just being like, I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> like, I was, I was just a kid and I was like, that kind of sucked. This is a bad movie. And my Nana was like all surprised, like, but it's Batman. You love Batman. And I was like, yeah, but it's, it's shitty Batman. <laughs> You must provide power to this board, detective. 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 The thing is, like... Full-on camp can be okay. You know, Dark Knight, Whoops. <laughs> balance, I don't if the movie, like, knows it and out. leans into it. Like, Army of Darkness is campy. But it's also, like, one of the best movies ever made. Because it has awareness. Batman and Robin feels like it has no awareness. Like, it's trying to take itself seriously, but it fails on every single level that matters. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck does this work? I don't remember this puzzle. that to get up here stuck batman already already i cannot quite believe this but i actually feel disappointed i don't know exactly what this pressure switch here does oh dear dark knight you don't stand a remote oh that brings that out okay that's easy actually there we go now. This isn't just a test of intelligence, Dark Knight. It's a test of skill. Oh, are you kidding me? Did I just not have enough oomph? I thought that was going to be easy. Do it again, then. All right, so strive and boost off, and then switch it in midair. That's all I can do, really. This jumps harder than I gave it credit for. It might help if I used the remote Batmobile control. Shut up, Batman. I know what I'm doing. It's just being a wanker about it, that's all. This doesn't stay on the same plane if I... Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck, finally. <laughs> well done, detective. Your true calling as a third-rate circus stuntman becomes clearer by the day. Well, well, you figured it out. You or blundered your way to victory. Blundered. Time to help Catwoman with her key. <laughs> now then, detective. detective. Hop on the pressure pad beside me. Why do I have to be in the Batmobile? That was weird. Listen carefully, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Your friend's life depends on it. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. Catwoman. Isn't that right, my dear? I see them, Eddie. Okay, I hit the button to switch to Catwoman, and it's not loaded in yet. 
There we go. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first. Okay, Batman. Let's see if you're as smart as they say. I love the way she gets it out. Zink. One down. Just nice. this once, I've lowered the count on Catwoman's collar by two digits to account for Batman's uh. earlier success. I could have simply started the count on eight, but, well, well, well. nine lives? I couldn't resist. Re resist. I actually respect that. That's dedication to the bit right there. Now, Catwoman, celebrate your survival by telling Batman all about the exciting orphanage development. About the celebrate the orphanage development. No, you do it. Now, Kitty. Kitty. Why, Batman, there's a big mysterious green door. Yes, yes, there is. Come back to the orphanage, Batman, and I'll let the pair of you through it. Guys, I'm twerking. Got nothing else to do. I'm just trapped in here. Might as well practice my twerking skills. All right. Awesome. Some of these Riddler things are actually fun. You know, they just they make you think a little bit. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice way to mix it up from like all the combat and stuff. Well done, Dark Knight. You should, I hope, be beginning. All right. Well, have a good night, Indy. Thanks for dropping in, man. Hope you have a good night. The sheer scale of the gauntlet I have thrown down, or perhaps not. Perhaps, perhaps you're feeling cocky. Perhaps these early victories have filled you with early false hope. Well then, ride that wave of smug satisfaction all the way back to the orphanage. I'm waiting. Orphanage. I wonder if I could just do this whole thing right now. Like this whole line. Because theoretically, I should have all the trophies I need, so. Let's see. What else do we have access to? We haven't found any more of these. And nothing else has opened up. The militia have explosives deployed around the city. Time to hunt them down. So there's one more of these on this island. You just have to find it. See, that's the issue with flying around everywhere, is that you don't locate the stuff on the ground. if I've ever done that before. <laughs> Riddler guy! Oh! Accidentally ran into him. And now he's you know, hanging from the I fence in a really gruesome way. Well, these things happen, I guess. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Archetype's vehicle. Miss Gordon, safety is on all of our minds, huh? Good luck. Alfred, I'm at the bridge. One moment, sir. I should probably warn you, there's a significant militia presence ahead. Duly noted. I managed to access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drones, sir. Go Barb. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. Oh, you got a thing I've been doing this whole time? Sergeant! Too easy. It's too easy, guys. Was a whiff. 
Dude, look how many of them there are. Oh my god. Straight up lighting up my radar. That's a four-way hack right there. This guy up here doesn't stand a chance. He's about to get... freaking dunked on. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, somebody got him. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Get off that. <laughs> Attached to the Riddler thing. Lacey's department store. So, guys, like, almost every single store or brand that you see in this game is a reference to something from DC Comics. Most of them, I don't even know. Because they really get into, like, a lot of obscure shit that a lot of people don't know, I feel like. Oh, I couldn't hit that guy. He's controlling a drone. But yeah, stuff when you see stuff like Lacey's, that's almost certainly referring to a specific character in the DC Drone's universe. But I couldn't tell you who. <laughs> Lost the rattler. We're hanging out down there. I'm not allowed to go there. Get up here and die, jackass. Oh, I think I got him actually. The bomb payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. Bomb destroyed. Nicely done, Master Bruce. Yay! I'm the best. Same with like Gambies up there. I don't know who that's referring to, but yeah. So where are we going now? Right up here? We're going back across the bridge? Oh right, I gotta pick up the trail. Kinda forgot about that with all the other stuff <laughs> that we were doing. From downtown, motherfuckers. Damn, I'm good. I'm sniping these fools. Hey! Firefighter just opened up. Lovely. Too easy. Destroyed at the hospital. Let's do this too. I should be connected shortly, sir. Expect minor resistance, Master Bruce. I like getting these out of the way. Alright, Hex! Oh damn, they got me. That dude was tough. Batman took out a drone. Rattler's been hit. All right, let's hack you. Drone feet offline. Get back. Let's hack you. And you. 
Hacks for everybody. Thank you, Alfred. At least somebody in the city appreciates me. Uh, we should look at our points. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff that I need to buy, but, you know, since we have the points, we should just buy stuff. Explosive gel stun duration. Freeze cluster. Oh, that's a good one. Optic deflection armor for the disruptor. Disrupt an enemy's optic deflection to render them visible again in detective mode. Yeah. We'll snag that. Sabotage stun sticks is also really good, actually. Um, when you use this, you can either counter the move or let the attack land and it will take out the enemy. That's actually really good. Let's grab that. And we'll grab freeze cluster as well. Which isn't a thing I really tend to use a lot, but now we have it. Back to sniffing the trail. The Arkham Knight's vehicle swerved and crashed up ahead. Huh. This part's actually pretty cool. Car's empty. The Arkham Knight must have taken Oracle and moved on. I should examine the vehicle more closely. They kind of do a little throwback to Arkham Origins here. With these crime scene investigations, which is like one of the coolest things they added to that game. But this is the only part in this game that's like this. The car veered off an empty road. Why? Looks like the driver wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I should find the body. That'll learn him. That will learn him. So we can kind of rewind and fast forward the crime scene here to find things. It's not overly complicated, but it's pretty fun. Traces of pepper spray on the right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. I should check the area where she was sitting. Really makes you feel like a detective, you know? Really makes you feel it. There we go. The door was torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, I can determine exactly what happened. I don't know how that works, but I'll take your word for it, Batman. Kind of reminded you of Detroit Become Human. Yeah, I could totally see that. Torn cleanly off the hinges. The door must have been opened before the Oracle got out. I need to examine the reconstruction. Pinpoint where she landed. Okay. The only downside here is you do move a little slow, but eh, you know. What is that? Nothing relevant, okay. Oracle got free of the vehicle <coughs> before the crash. really drawing this out <laughs> Oracle stopped here someone took a shot at her I should analyze the point of impact for ballistic evidence Could you imagine actually having technology like this in real life there are the no crimes you wouldn't be able to solve the Arkham Knight sidearm the trajectory and impact velocity points to a shooter that matches his height 
At this range, you couldn't have missed. A warning shot. I've missed something. Oracle knew she couldn't escape, but she caused this crash for a reason. She must have left a clue while crawling away. Okay. Let's creepily watch her as she crawls for her life. Oh. See, how would the scanner know that she did that, though? Like, that's... That's kind of some bullshit there, isn't it? <laughs> left me the scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Huh. This kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. Yeah. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. Mm. He appears to be standing beside a burning bat symbol, sir. It might be wise to establish whether this interloper is friend or foe. Reports are also coming in of a blaze at the Bristol fire station. Oh. One suspects arson, sir, as the power to the building has been cut, disabling the fire suppression system. You may wish to investigate. That one's actually one of my least favorite side quests, but... Still, we should do it. Just actually pretty close okay let's go do this first actually someone's attacked the fire station in bristol i'm going to put out the blaze and find who's responsible just kind of get it out of the way such as it is well, why the gps wants me to go this way that seems like a longer way but okay sure there you are. get out of here All right, this one could be a pain in the ass. The fire suppression system has been cut. I need to get it back online to get the blaze under control. Depending on how hard they make this on nightmare mode, I don't know what they're really going to do to make it more challenging. Firefly. You beat me once, but that's a long time ago. Okay then. Just gotta keep him in sight. Avoid the fire, go as fast as we can. And eventually we'll get the option to take him out. This really sucks if you're not good at driving. And I'm not even great at driving. I've just got a lot of practice in on this game, so I can, you know, kind of get by, but I'm still not, like, good at it. See, I just kind of drove right through the fire there. You're not supposed to do that, it turns out. In case you guys didn't know, driving right through fire is generally frowned upon, even if you're in the Batmobile. I know, it's crazy, right? Get him! Yeah! Tonight, this stinking city will be purified by flames! I do like his voice actor, though. He sounds sufficiently crazy. You know, sir, I believe we've met that charming pyromaniac before. Firefly. It seems Scarecrow made everyone aware that Gotham would be defenseless tonight. He's dangerous, Alfred. Keep watch for more fires. Fire suppression system doesn't have a mechanical backup, so it's their fault. That's a fair assessment. I mean, Gotham's pretty old, you know? Their infrastructure isn't really up to date, I would say. Um, we should go do this. 
because they said that was at Grand Avenue Central, which is in the same place as a firefighter, so we can do two birds, one stone with this. Someone's lit a burning bat symbol on the Gamby store rooftop. Rose hated this part. A beacon or a threat? Time to find out. I hated that part in my first LP, too. Yeah, see, Joe remembers. That part gave me fits on my first LP. I mean, we still gotta do it, like, two more times. There he is! Hit him! Oh, okay. I was trying to grapple away, dicks. Could you just relax for a second? That's right. Get suplexed. That's what happens to bitches who run over Batman with their cars. There we go. Finally. Took a while to clear that. Okay. So we're looking for a burning bat symbol. Whoops, I found it. Azrael. I trust you have not forgotten me, Batman. Azrael. Dark days are here, Batman. The prophecy has come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. What do you want? I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Gotham will need a new savior, a new guardian, a new Batman. I'm not finished just yet. You cannot carry this burden forever. I have studied you for a long time. You have a code. You will not kill. Then neither shall I. The Order has foreseen it. The time has come to pass the mantle to another warrior. To me. If you can prove your abilities, when the time is right, I'll consider it. But first, you must show you are worthy. And I have the technology to just run this amazing combat simulation out of nowhere. All right, so I think the whole deal with this is you just can't get hit during this whole fight. I think if you get hit even once, it's game over. But I think he can do like all the same stuff as Batman, so. Yeah. Not so bad as long as you're countering. You show potential. Contact me when you're ready to take the next step. And you know, just like every character in comic books ever, there's multiple Azrael's. Good work, Alfred. Run the usual physiological tests. Then am I to understand you're considering him as your successor? None of us know what will happen after tonight. I'll be in touch. No, Batman never gets hit, ever. Anytime you see Batman get hit in this game, it's because of, like, a glitch in the Matrix. I'm imagining it. I've gotta be imagining it. Who chained a body to a wall? Let's see. I think this might be the firefighter over here. Look out! Batman's here! Did they really see me already? Is that a fucking joke? Okay. Holy bitch! I knew it was coming and it still got me. <laughs> Creature of the night. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, uh... We'll come back to that, because I'm, I'm a little pissed that they saw me already. So we're going to wait for that to reset and then come back and do it later. Um... The bat creature's still at large on Miyagani Island. I'm going to hunt it down and take a blood sample, determine who or what it is. Right. Okay. Wasn't sure if it was actually going to let me track that right now or not. What do you guys say we go do another Riddler thing? Selena's still trapped in the orphanage. Enigma's got something in store for us both when I get there. 
Oh, there he is. Maybe I can get him right now. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Alfred, run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. No biggie. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match. A Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address. Nice. Already got the address. Okay. Uh, let's keep doing what we were doing, though. Nope. I Damn it. Selene is still trapped in the orphanage. Nigma's got something in store for us both when I get there. I was gonna say, since we're so close to the orphanage already, it just makes sense. You guys understand. What was I saying before? Uh, yeah, so like with Azrael, there's actually a couple different Azrael's. I don't remember their full names. The one in this game, his name is Michael something. And the one that I'm familiar with is John Paul something. John Paul Valley, maybe? He's in, um, he's in the Nightfall comic Welcome book series, which is a really good here. series. Your friend has not been armed. Before I allow you to see her, however, riddle me this. Riddle, 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 riddle me this. What kind of question can only be asked upon reflection? Reflection. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. So I was just kind of expecting this to happen last time, and uh, I was surprised when it didn't. Bit of a riddle to solve. Let me, um, let me remember which way we got to do this. The light, yeah, there's the light at the bottom in the mirror, so we need the question mark to be facing us, which means that goes at the top. And then... It goes like that. And then... Well, well, it nice. seems you have earned the right to see your friend. See your friend. Why, she'll be as surprised as I am that you've made it this far. Why does Alfred have to analyze it? Batman's suit would have to analyze it first in order to upload it? Would it? Would it have to run a full analysis to oh, upload it? You're back. I don't know if that Maybe checks out. Show me whatever deranged parlor game he's got waiting behind that door until you arrived. I'll get you out of here. I'm sorry. Do I seem testy? It's probably something to do with the gorgeous necklace Eddie picked out for me. Have you seen it? It explodes. <laughs> well, are you going into the room or what? All right, all right. I get you're impatient. I guess I'd be a little testy too if I had a murder necklace oh, I do hope you strapped to my neck. You two, because you'll need to work together if you want to find the key hidden in here. Find, find the key. Oh, this one's a pain in the ass, actually. Wow, okay. This looks creepy. Someone's been reading Feng Shui for serial killers. <laughs> Feng Shui for serial killers. Good one. Good one, Catwoman. All right, so we put Batman there. We put her over here. Great. Extra trapped. As if the collar wasn't enough. Oh, Batman, Catwoman. Batman. Neither of you is getting out of there without the other's help. Okay. Three, one, four, five, two. Three, one, four, five, two. It's the order we gotta hit these in. I've got five. 
switches and the world's most bore. Oh, look. It's more of Eddie's homemade friends. <laughs> well, there we go. It's settled. You're, you're, you're not quite as dumb as each other. <laughs> Congratulations, Batman. Catwoman, you're lagging behind. Actually, this isn't as bad as I remember. I think I was thinking of a different one. Five, two, four. Oh, hold on. I started in the middle. One, three, five, two, four. Okay. One, three, five, two, four. I can barely describe to you what a pleasure it is to see your brow furrow over the simplest of conundrums. Shut up. I do apologize for not creating a riddle that you can merely pound into submission. Try to remember some of the other stuff you can do with her. Here, why don't you take out your primitive frustrations on my automated assistance? Okay, that's how you throw the bolas. Isn't there like a quick... Like a quick leg move of some kind? I can't remember. I'm gonna get beat up trying to figure it out. Come on. Every robot you can see nearly provides more data for me to analyze, Dark Knight. It's quite liberating to have freed myself from reliance on Gotham's ill-educated muscle, detective. You gotta admit, the dual team takedown stuff in this game is really freaking cool. The way you can seamlessly swap between the characters like that. Programming animates these beautiful creations, Dark Knight. My engineering gave them shape. Not one of your absurd fat contraptions is so brilliant. Dude, oh shit. Okay, I thought I had a instant takedown ready, but I didn't. So try to Oops. mitigate that primal feeling of triumph upon... Well then, it seems you've earned another key. So here's a really cool this is uh going to take all night, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Catwoman's voiced by Gray Griffin? I don't know who that is. Uh here's a really cool little attention to detail thing. You can collect the key with either Batman or Catwoman, but they open it differently. Uh we saw the way Catwoman does it earlier by like tracing the circle and then, you know, just punching it out and taking it. And that's how she'll always do it. But if you do it with Batman, he ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> he just smashes it open and grabs it. And then he actually does it for her. Which is cool. Azula and Avatar? Oh my fucking god. I can totally hear that now. How are you holding How did I never know that? I'm fine. I don't need your concern. Just your help getting this thing off. Yes, it's, it's, she sounds exactly the same. I don't know how I never put that together. That is awesome. How great of a character is Azula, by the way? Like, oh my god. I wouldn't celebrate just yet, you two. Dark Knight, my next challenge can be found beneath Elliot Memorial Hospital. Conveniently located for when you pass out due to mental exhaustion. <laughs> mental, mental, mental exhaustion. Great. By the way, do we have access to the... Yeah, I was going to say, we should have the Season of Infamy stuff in here, too. So we've got these to do as well. Wonderland and Shadow War are open right now. It's Mad Hatter and Ra's al Ghul, I believe. You still haven't apologized. For what? For Eddie treating me like a white hat. Like one of your sidekicks. You know, half the crooks in Gotham think I feed you info. You do. <laughs> yeah, when there's something in it for me. They think I'm doing it on principle. Sorry for making criminals think less of you. Hey, have I ever heard anyone? I'm not one of the bad guys, Batman. I'm freelance. You should pick a side, Selena. Your side should pay better. <laughs> I was about to say, she still breaks the law, but then I was like, well, Batman does too. So that's not a really a good argument, but yeah. Look, Batman... I enjoy a soldering <coughs> bear as much as the next girl, but maybe you should be working on Eddie's glorified obstacle courses. You finally watched it? Couldn't believe it was three seasons? It's three seasons of greatness. 
I love that show. I've never met a single person who watched that show the whole way through and didn't just love it. Like, that's never happened. Hey, Bats. When did Catwoman get so cute? Must have been when I started looking out of your eyes. Hmm? <laughs> you're gonna ask her out or what? Oh, you're not still torn up about Talia al Ghul, are you? Come on, it's been months. Even the worms that ate her corpse have probably forgotten about it by now. Damn! Yo, it's an objectively good show. I agree. Opportunity for romance just because I blew your last girlfriend's lungs out? <laughs> Take a tip from your wingman, Brucey. The ladies hate it when you brood over the ex you failed to save. Yeah, I guess that's true. But still, it was Talia, man. She's the mother of my child. Well, I don't know if that's true in this universe. It's normally true. All right, where are we going now? It's against the law to not like Avatar. It should be. It very much should be. Let's see if these douchebags reset. There's a firefighter being held hostage in Grand Avenue. His captors must pay. Do this real careful, like. So as not to give myself away again. Where are the others? What have you done with them? Your concern is admirable, but if I were you, worrying about yourself. I don't know if you figured it out yet, but this don't end well for you. What do you mean? Hey, I think you might have a I'm actually not sure if blowing these up with explosive gel takes them out or not. Because they're just weak wooden walls. Oh, it totally works. That's awesome. We're gonna kill you. What do you think we got you out here for? Your conversation? Tonight's the night you die. And it ain't gonna be quick. It's gonna be nice and slow. Piece by piece. All right, here we go. Got a lot of them. Put that down, idiot. There we go. That was textbook. I like that. Joker has no chill. That's the truth of it, man. What the hell? It's got happened? none. I don't remember anything. Your truck was attacked. You and the rest of your crew were taken hostage by rioters. It's over, Batman. Not even you can save Gotham this time. I won't give up. I'll find your crew. Wait here. An officer will come and take you to GCPD. What's my favorite Batman theory? Like, fan theory? Uh... Don't know if I have a good answer for that, to be honest with you. I'm heading to Wayne Tower. If we can decrypt the Arkham Knight security protocols, we should be able to track his location. If he thinks he can hide from you, sir, he's in for something of a surprise. Can you give me some examples of what you're talking about? hoping I'd be able to skirt by that. This building's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Look at this. I had to actually get into this place for a second. Joker is Martha Wayne and Alfred's son, making him Batman's half-brother? Martha Wayne and Alfred? That seems highly unlikely to me. <laughs> Who Let came up with that theory? Drop in, Mr. Wayne. I suppose you weren't really dressed for the front entrance. Have you finished the decryption? Fully decoded. 
I've downloaded all recent militia radio transmissions and their corresponding coordinates to your machine. Thanks, Lucius. I can scan the network for the Arkham Knight's voice print and determine the location of his last broadcast. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of fun things to do in this office. First of all... You know, if I'd ever been curious about your identity, I would have torn off that mask years ago. I always figured the truth would be a letdown. But I have to admit, masquerading as Gotham's least interesting socialite is one hell of a cover story. The dead parents are just icing on the cake. <laughs> the writing in this game is so brutal for Joker. Like, they seriously just held nothing back. There was nothing off limits. They should make a Batman Beyond Arkham game? Fuck yes, they should. Oh, I'd be so into that. Oh, I'll put it in my belly. You had to go and spoil the surprise. I was hoping to keep her under wraps until she's ready. Next generation disruptor. She's still a couple of weeks from completion, but I figured you'd appreciate a working prototype. I should have her with you later on this evening. Thanks, Lucius. I think I might need it. But I already have it. <laughs> I love that they include stuff like this in this game, though. Fun little things to find, like extra conversations, Easter eggs like this, foreshadowing things you're going to be able to do later. Like, there's just so much packed into this game, and I love stuff like that. It took a while to source the improved components. You're lucky I don't charge overtime. Oh, I'm sure you're well compensated, Mr. Fox. How would you like the new car, Mr. Wayne? Looks like you needed that battle mode after all. If you don't mind my saying so, Mr. Wayne, the new bat suit looks rather smart. It looked better on me, of course. <laughs> Can you imagine him wearing a bat suit just to try it on? That young impersonator of yours seems surprisingly <coughs> well equipped. It's as if he's based his suit on my earlier designs. What? You don't say. Now, I know it's not my place to pry, but Alfred's starting to worry. If you need to talk about anything, you know where to find me. Okie dokie. And then there's some voicemails over here to listen to. There's some really fun references in here. Bruce? It's Vicky. Are you there? Vicky Vale. I know you're listening to these messages. Look, if it's about that article, blame Ryder. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Call me, okay? I miss you, Brucey. Brucey? <laughs> Brucey? <laughs> There's another one that says Bruce Wayne was never really the Batman, but was put in Arkham Asylum the night of his, of his parents' murder and never got released. Eh, yeah, I mean, there's really no way to ever prove or disprove that, you know? There's a lot of theories like that for a lot of continuities out there for, you know, in different things. There's an episode of Buffy that's all about that. And the whole point of the episode of Buffy where they do that is the ambiguity of it. It's almost like two real realities. You know, there's the one where she's not stuck in the mental asylum, and then there's the one where she is. So, I don't know. It's fun. Bruce, it's Kathy. You do remember me, right? <laughs> um, listen, I had, like, so much fun the other night. You were nothing like what I read in the papers. Anyway, call me when you get this. I got a couple of cute friends who are dying to meet you. So ever since I sat down and started streaming, I've been getting freaking blasted with text messages. Like, I'm literally getting a text like every 20 seconds. And I don't know what the fuck is going on. I, I hate interrupting streams for stuff like that, but I'm just trying to make sure there's no, like, emergencies going on or anything. I think everything's fine. Apologies for going via your direct line, but I grow tired of this game. LexCorp has made a very generous offer for Wayne Tech's Applied Sciences Division, yet your persistent unavailability begins to look less like a busy schedule and more like deliberately antagonistic behavior. Come now, meet with me. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. A man of your refined taste doesn't need an Applied Sciences Division after all. He needs another billion dollars. Suppose it's a comic of Lex Luthor answering the messages and it's Joker? What? After Clark reveals his identity and basically Joker trolls 
his messages of laughing? Huh. Sounds weird. Bruce, it's Kate. You're coming to Maggie and I's engagement thing next week, aren't you? No one's seen you in months, Bruce. This is Batwoman. The importance of keeping up appearances. Kate Kane is Batwoman. You have two new no messages. Uh, Bruce, uh, this is your father calling. It's time we had a talk, son. You know, about the dressing up. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, that's a repeat. Are you there? Uh, there have been so many different writers for Batman, there are just as many continuities. Yeah, so people draw um, distinctions between continuity and canon. Uh, there's, I guess now there's only one canon, which is the New 52 stuff. And that's, you know what? You know what, guys? My favorite Batman comic ever made is The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, which I don't think was ever considered canonical. I mean, it's definitely not now. But even when it came out, I think they were like, yo, this isn't canon. It's just a side story thing that Frank Miller's doing because, you know, it's fun. And uh, people use that to shit all over it. Like, well, it's not canon. Who cares? I don't really give a fuck. It's an amazing story. Yeah, it's not canonical with the new 52 or whatever, but like, shut up. Did I ever find out what happened to the sound on my last stream? No, I experimented a little bit, but I couldn't figure it out. I got to do some research on this dongle. So I think the dongle's the problem. Dies tonight. Scanning communications for voice print match. Location verified. Got it. The night's transmitting from the Miyagani tunnel network. Glad to be of assistance, Mr. Wayne. While you're here, we've been working on some further upgrades for your car. Let me know where you'd like us to focus our efforts. Uh, don't I already have these? Yeah, I definitely already have the CPU virus and this, so it doesn't matter. Ah, you'll like this. Wrote it myself when I saw what you were up against this evening. The drone virus hijacks the militia tank's weapon systems and causes them to target their allies. I'll be in touch as soon as it's ready. Now, if there's anything else you need, I'll be here all night. It's not like I could leave this city even if I wanted to. I like how he just stands there and holds the disruptor like he's getting ready to smoke a bitch. Alright, thanks. Care, Mr. Wayne. You know where to find me. Thanks for everything, I'll Lucius. I I'll see you later. To the Miyagani tunnel system. Excellent news, sir. But I'm detecting a significant drone presence in the area. It would be folly to engage them without the Batmobile. Noted. Shall I open the south entrance? Hold off until I get there, Alfred. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay. So Clark reveals his identity, and then the comic shows Lex answering the messages on his machine. It's a hundred messages of Joker laughing and telling Lex how could he not know the whole time. That's funny. Is that, is that, is that just like a fan-made thing? <clears throat> Stupid bronchitis. Oh, Sorry. Hey look, it's the Vicky Vale show! Damn near killed me in the time it took to get in my Batmobile. It's freaking rude. How about you all get blown up? How's that sound? Bitches. Alfred, I'm at the tunnel entrance. Open the doors. Just a moment, sir. I'm accessing the building's security mainframe. Going for the machine reminded you of that. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I'd be curious to know if that was from a real comic or just a fan-made thing. Because there's some really funny fan-made comics out there, too. Don't worry, Alfred. I'll find another way in. I think one of my favorite fan-made Batman comics I ever saw was... Uh, it was a fight between Batman and Superman. And in the comic, Superman just picks up Batman and throws him into the sun. Because, like, that's how it would really happen if they really had a fight, you know? But then it turns out that before they started fighting, Batman swallowed a whole bunch of kryptonite. <laughs> Have you made any progress on the cure? Getting there. Hey, I haven't heard from Barbara for a while. Is she okay? She's fine. She's working on something for me. It's important. But she's safe, right? Don't worry, Tim. Just keep working on that cure. Yeah. So, Batman knew that... <laughs> that Superman would throw him into the sun, so he swallowed a whole bunch of kryptonite. And when he got launched into the sun, the kryptonite mingled with the sun's rays and the sun became a giant death machine for Superman. So in the end, Batman still won because he planned ahead. <laughs> uh oh bats! How very me of you! Though I can see why you didn't tell him after old Jimbo's hysterical overreaction. Oh, he's talking about Robin. That's right. Guys, there's like, there's so much dialogue in this game. Still, if you cared about Barbara the way that little sidekick of yours does, Maybe she wouldn't have got kidnapped in the first place. And like most of it is written so well. They're star crossed, Patsy. <laughs> like me and you. Shame they're being torn apart thanks to your crusade. But especially coming from So let's recap. Barbara's kidnapped, and let's face it, probably dead. You're lying to lover boy wonder about it, and dear old Jim's marched off on his lonesome to save the day. Yeah, but coming from the perspective of a guy who doesn't like talking over in-game dialogue, <laughs> fuck. Sometimes I just wish they would shut up, you know? Just every now and then I just wish that. What? Say something. Come on! Let Robin out of his cage! You can't force him to slave over your cure! Uh... Plus, if he gets himself killed out there, you won't have to tell him about Barbara. <laughs> it's win-win! Alright, we haven't had to use a remote control batarang yet. But the situation calls for it. Think he's really gonna fix your nasty case of jokeritis? <laughs> Not a chance! I'm chronic, Brucey. I'm lingering. We both know there's no cure for me. That was a pretty creepy line. Can you remember when it was simple? Back in the old days when it was just you, me, a regular war against crime? Well, take a look, Bats. Things change. Now it's just war, with you standing right bang in the center. Now it's just war. What's this? Of course, like with any war, there are casualties. It's inevitable, unavoidable, like death. Well, maybe not death. I seem to have sidestepped that one. <laughs> Still, not all of us are so lucky. Hmm. Natalia? Of course you do. Stop bringing her up. Get a girl like that. All it took was one piece of lead to end your hopes of happily ever after. <laughs> you blamed me, of course, but you were wrong. faster than I thought it would be, and I'm dead. <laughs> Oopsie. You put her in my crosshairs, Bats. Sure, she didn't do herself any favors, but it was you. You see, people trust you. They believe in you. They follow you into your war, and you, you are about to get them all killed. 
So I do really appreciate in this game how, like, there's so much writing for the Joker, but it's not written as the Joker, it's written as Batman's concept of the Joker. And I love how they just, they, you know, they reference, like, the guilt that he feels and all that good stuff. I need to find a way to bring the Batmobile through before I engage them. Really? Yeah, I know. I trying to grapple over. You see these guys? Think they own Gotham. What are we going to do about it? Wouldn't it be weird if Joker and Batman were twins and Joker was given up at birth? Joker found out about it but never told Batman? That would be weird. I don't think I would like that. Think oh shit! Walk it off, Batman. Walk it off. <clears throat> You're not getting through me. Oh yeah? I'm not done yet, bitch. Our first big guy fights. Here's what we do about him. Oh no! Oh no. We could also try and lure him over here and then just do this. <laughs> Idiot. Wolf. And that takes care of her. Very cool, very cool. Oh, they brought in another big guy, okay. See if I can pull this off. Yeah, I did it. No, oh, I fucked it up again. How? Oh, I thought I had it that time. That move is awesome. Turn, bitch. Oh my god, they brought in even more. It's a medic. No, stop it. Snuff out of you. Oh, that's everybody? Okay, sweet. Damn, that was three waves. Okay. Fucker, I don't need live rounds. My fists are live rounds. Think about that. Punch the tank. That's not how it works. Think you're trapped down here. <laughs> what kind of super villain thinks a bullet to the stomach and a handful of tanks will stop the Batman? Okie dokie. All these guys up. No big deal. Wait. Oh, there's a guy behind me for some reason. Easy peasy, guys. And make the Arkham Knight pay. 
I see you back in the car, Master Bruce. I'm going after the knight. He's here in the tunnel. Then let us hope he has Miss Gordon with him. All right. Always look for the yellow box. <laughs> see these guns? I call them law and order. Part's cool. I mean, not this part right now, but what this leads to. Stop him. Don't worry, sir. He's mine. That car's gonna smash us to pieces. Under heavy fire. Get out of here, jackass. I can't believe this guy behind me is still alive. Fuck off. Get. Dude, this guy's like an annoying mosquito. Okay, you really want to die that bad? Good. Fuck off. Oh, that was dope. That was a cool finish. APC is down. I say again, the APC is down. All support units to fall back immediately. Alright, come here, you little bitch. The driver isn't the Arkham Knight, but he'll know where I can find him. You led me on a merry chase. I didn't appreciate it. How does it feel to be chasing the wrong man? <laughs> Where is the Arkham Knight? You won't find him. You think I didn't know you were tracking my broadcast location? Here's a lesson, Batman. I know how you think, which means I know how to beat you. Where is he? With Barbara Gordon. She's ours now. Can you imagine what the knight's going to do to her? <laughs> I love this so much. No, you can't do this. <laughs> Look at the size of that freaking tire, man. Are you sure? No, please. No more. What? No. Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my car engine. It's really no. loud. Are you trying to say something? No. No. What? No. Speak up. I'll tell you, just stop. Uh, I can't. I no. Oh, you want to? Okay. Yet. Okay. Remember something else? He uses a refrigeration company as a front. The trucks distribute weapons throughout the city. What's it called? North. North Refrigeration. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, you like the emotes, Rose? Good, I'm glad you like them. I need you to find out everything you can about North Refrigeration. Of course. But may I inquire why? Penguin's supplying arms to the Arkham Knight, and right now... He's the best lead we have to finding Barbara. I'll look into it right away, sir. Ah, I can see Mr. Fox is trying to contact you. Lucius. Mr. Wayne, your new Batmobile upgrade is ready to deploy. The Batwing is en route to Grand Avenue. I mean, that's cool and all, but I already have it, so I don't really care. Yeah, I actually... Sir, I've discovered an exploit the Arkham Knight was using to broadcast... 
us to fire your gauntlet. Rest assured that all of our communications are securely encrypted. Should I lock him out to prevent further disruptions? Keep the channel open, Alfred. The more he talks, the more I know about him. Very well, sir. Smart. Um, yeah, I actually do have a, uh... I have another emote ready to go, and it's from Resident Evil 4. It was one of the ones that people requested. I just need to unlock another emote slot. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. Are you saying that it was a long Halloween, Alfred? Is that what you're trying to say? Arkham Knight's actually just chilling at Wayne Manor. <laughs> That'd be funny. And I agree, that is the best interrogation ever. I love that so much. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Damn, Batman's good. Oh. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. So we got four more... Three more bodies to find, and then the final confrontation. Gotcha. Batman! It's Batman! Really? Those guys saw me all the way up here? That seems like that's not supposed to happen. Oh shit. Oh shit! Still militia drones out here. Douches. Alright, what are we gonna move on to next, guys? We could go do another Riddler thing. I, I kinda like getting these early Riddler things out of the way. This might be another race. Drone deployment has been wiped out. Your men can resume patrols on Miyagani Island. You got it, bad man. Atomic Yin raiding with a party of 16. Holy shit. Thank you for the raid. What's up, raiders? How are you guys doing? I saw a guy breathe scarecrow's gas once. Not pretty. Wow. I think that's the largest raid I've ever gotten. I really appreciate that, man. <laughs> the preliminaries are done with Brookvale, thank you for the follow. I hope you understand that. Oh, had I so wished, you'd have I'm playing Batman Arkham Knight on the, the Nightmare difficulty, hurdle, New Game Plus. No, Hardest no, difficulty no. in the game. I wanted you to know the full Tom is the Tom, thank you for the follow. You understand? <laughs> to fully appreciate my superiority. <laughs> but now, well... You hope I'm okay? I'm, I'm doing okay. Atomic Yin, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much for the raid, man. That's really awesome. Were you just streaming? Were you playing Batman like I am? Another race track detective, but Zombie please. Beth, thank you for the follow. Let its unique peculiarities crush your spirit. You guys got here just in time for a race. Well, shall we begin? David Bro Dude, thank you for the follow. No, Dark Knight. You are not losing what little grip you had on reality. <laughs> You've merely entered a brave new world of my design. Okay, this race is a little harder than the last one. This might take me a couple tries. That ceiling applies 
That's not the way to do it. I invented the measurement myself. Is this exciting, Shit. Man? An invigorating, adrenalizing thrill? <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a serious test of skill. Okay, so we have unlimited afterburner for these races. We can take advantage of that. I built this course in a sewer, detective. You needed the home team advantage. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Onward, Batman! Or does the Dark Knight require a pit stop? Okay, that's not good. Again. Oh my god, why did I swivel that far? You didn't go to all the trouble of painting that thing just the right shade of black in order to scuff it. How do you notice, Batman? The walls of inevitability are closing in. That almost hit me. Crank it up, fuckers. Ugh. Okay. You know, I think the wheels on that thing might actually be as thick as your skull. Whew. Feeling claustrophobic today. Oh, I screwed that up. Get ready for the final lap. Final lap is hard to slap. Fuck. What a fitting in for you, detective. A stain on my floor. You'll be crushed, flat, pulverized. Uh, we still got this. We still got this. We're doing relatively good here. Everything's fine. It's time. One thousand dead bats of pressure. Ooh. No! Oh, I'm right at the end. Don't, don't fuck this now. Move, 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 move. First try, motherfuckers. What's up? Another lap would be the end of you, Dark. Oh my God! What is? <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I've been missing everything going on over here. Thank you so much for the follows. Angel Productions Games is gifting subs to T Kid and Miranda and Mr. Charlie. Arky is subscribed to Tier One. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God. All this love coming in. Thank you guys so very much. I've been, uh, I had to kind of focus on that, so I apologize. I miss everything that was going on over here. Oh my God, that's, that's crazy. Thank you so much for that generosity, guys. Oh my God, you just gifted five more tier one subs? Are you serious right now? <laughs> Angel Productions and Arky, you guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you guys. What the fuck is going on right now? I've never had this happen before. I can't leave. Catwoman needs my help choosing a key. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Dude, how many gift subs? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I can't even believe this. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? Dude. I can't even, I don't even know how many subs you've gifted at this point, but thank you for every single one of them. This is incredible. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god, thank you guys so much. I can't even... Wow, I can't even process this right now. <laughs> how are you still going? I don't even know how, to, how else to say thank you at this point. Like, this is amazing. Jesus Christ. Arky has gifted six gift subs. 
Seven now? <laughs> what the fuck? You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for this. I'm not sure how many sub points I'm at now. You you might have unlocked a new emote slot for me, which would be amazing. Um, okay, this one's at the very top. If we put oh, them good. in the middle, the fun part. so it should be this one, I think. Oh, this is too tense to watch. Too Wait, to watch. thank goodness I'm recording. I've got to pay attention to this, or I'm going to pick the wrong one. <laughs> And that'd be bad. That'd be very bad. This is actually kind of confusing. This is quite the head scratcher, isn't it? Oops. Sorry. Probably shouldn't be talking about your head. I think it's this one. Let's go with this one. Let's try it out. Here we go. You seem to be a great streamer. Well, I really appreciate that, and I really appreciate your generosity, man. Thank you guys so much. I can't even believe this. This is the first time anything like this has happened to me. And I got the right key too. Everything's going, <laughs> everything's going great. Read the bots gotta go. Thanks, okay. Uh, have a good night, man. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for everything. I'm just vibing, man. My, yeah, my streams are usually pretty chill. I'm not, I'm not a, Oh my god, what the fucking guys, what the fuck? I'm not one of those type of streamers, you know? I just like playing good games. I like chillaxing. I love Batman. I love Batman a lot. I must say, Dark Knight, that you're desperate fumbling. Guys, thank you so much for all that love. I'm like dumbfounded. I am impressed. That was so generous of you. How naturalists felt upon observing chimpanzees using tools for the first time. Did you know, detective, that the cleverest chimps can even obey simple instructions? It's true. Let's try it, shall we? Go to Gotham Casino for your next test, and I'll give you a banana. Atomic Inn's going to bed. Well, thank you so much for the raid, man. Thank you for showing me love. I hope you have a good night. I really appreciate it. Um, anybody here who's not following Atomic Yin, please go check him out. Give him a follow. He seems like a very righteous dude. <laughs> Oh, here's my Batmobile upgrade. Sir, we just tracked a fast moving sneezing coming. <laughs> this thing just pulled a J turn, plugging in a 12 G. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Angel Productions just gifted five more tier one subs. Dude, you've, you've gifted 11 subs in my channel. In the last five minutes. Thank you so much, man. I can't believe this. You guys are the real MVPs. Oh shit, I'm being blown up. Okay. Let's let's not get blown up. How's that sound? I don't want to explode. No, 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 none of that. Batman's overriding control protocols. Whoops, I just shot my own hacked drone. That's not smart. Batman's taking it hard, Sergeant. I want that car wrecked. And more gift subs rolling in. Dude, Angel Productions, you're like being way too generous, man. I don't even know how to say thank you for all that. Only thing, only thing that should be blown up right now is subs, Sir, not me. Word. North refrigeration as you requested. It seems Master Grayson has been investigating them for some time. Good. 
Tell him to send me what he has. He insisted on seeing you in person, sir. He's on his way from Bloodhaven with the pertinent information. He'll meet you on a roof. Thank you, Ferret. Overlooking the Ranala Ferry Terminal. Thanks, Alfred. In the meantime, sir, scans have established that the Arkham Knight has mobilized his senior lieutenants in armored personnel carriers throughout the city. We currently have a lock on one such vehicle. Should you wish to intervene and remove them from the battle. Awesome. Guys, we should go do a Nightwing side quest. Those are fun. Where, um, where is it on this wheel? That's just the armored NPCs. Which one of these is Nightwing? I don't actually see it on here now that I look. That's stupid. Well, let's do one of these real quick and then maybe it'll pop up. The citywide scan has picked up one of the militia APCs. I am relaying its location to you now, sir. I honestly, guy cannot believe all the generosity that you guys just showed me. Thank you so much for all that. Got to get back to your squad and call of duty. Can you believe it? Sounds good, man. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. I hope you have a wonderful night. Have fun playing call of duty. Oh, that was bullshit. I knocked him on his side, and then he just made a full recovery. Yeah, but your buddy didn't, did he? Get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm playing. Let's take it out of here. You can turn on a dime, it turns out. Shit. Okay. Yeah, this guy's pulling some turns that should not be possible. Some bullshit right there. Got him. Cash, I've taken out one of the militia's APCs. I need the driver picked up and taken back to GCPD. I'll get someone on your back. Uh, Zolva Baby. Sounds good, man. Thank you for being here. Have a good night. I appreciate everything. Also, I hope I said your name right. All right. Uh, so... Am I drunk? Did we not... We just, we got intel about Penguin, right? Which is the Nightwing side quest, and now it's like not even showing up on here. Or is that, ah, uh, it's because it's the main quest, right? Let's see what Nightwing's got on North Refrigeration. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Streets are too crowded. I'm out of here. Oh, is Ezrael up here yet? At some point he shows up on this. Yep, there he is. Let's do this along the way. I gotta say that it is good to be back. That's not Azrael, that's Joker. It just wasn't the same without me, was it? I mean Scarecrow's the biggest bad guy in town. <laughs> not for long. Wait, do I really have 15 emote slots now? <laughs> That's, that's not true, is it? <laughs> That'd be a lot of emote slots. But yeah, you guys might have unlocked a new one. I'm not 100% sure. If you did, then people are about to get that Resident Evil 4 emote. Hey, Blue, what's up, man? Oh, I heard opera. There it is. Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. 
Alright, let's see what we got here. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark. Quite distinctive. Yeah, I'm not sure if I did get another one or not, because I think I needed, a, like... I think I actually needed 30-some points. I needed a lot of points. But you guys just dropped a fuckload of love, so you, you might have hit that. I'll have to go check at some point. Where's... Where's the thing on this level? What's... What's going on here? There's one on every level, each time. Okay, I guess I'll come back to that. That's kind of weird. Toes. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Okay, last one. Somewhere on here. Is it that? No. Oh, there it is. It's tiny. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Alright, so more of those in the, in the bag. Uh, we've got 13 points. We should buy something with that. Batmobile weapons? Oh yeah, you know what? We're going to want this at some point, so let's buy the Cobra Lure. That's good to have. Batmobile itself. Ram charge? Sure. Why not? Afterburner recharge level 3? Sounds good. And then two more points. Should I actually start trying to learn this gadgets while gliding shit? Because I never bothered before. Glide kick, select targets, and then LT... Just tap to throw batterings. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but I'll buy it. Let's see what Nightwing's got on North Refrigeration. If I find Penguin, I'll find the Arkham Knight. Indeed, sir. Master Grayson confirmed he'll meet you on the building overlooking the Ranala Ferry Terminal. I love these ones. Sup? Still lurking around on rooftops. You shouldn't have come here. Not tonight. Look, are you kidding me? When I heard about Barb... North Refrigeration. Tell me what you know. Penguin's using freezer trucks to smuggle weapons out of Bloodhaven. Now, I think he's stockpiling arms right here in Gotham. The question is where? Cobblepot's the best lead we have on Barbara. I need to find that weapons cache. If I can intercept one of his trucks, it'll lead me right to him. Huh. If only you knew someone who's been tracking their movements. I gotta say, that red looks good on him. What? You didn't really think I'd come here without a plan, did you? I'll handle this. You're needed back in Bloodhaven. Come on, Bruce. Look, let me help. You can't do it all on your own. It's too dangerous. I won't risk losing anyone else. Bloodhaven needs you. All right. I can take a hint. But if you want to keep tabs on that truck, you're going to need this. It's a prototype straight out of R&D. The old fox has outdone himself this time. I'll see you around, Bruce. Are you asking me if I have more emotes ready to go, Rose? I only have the one extra right now. Um, Because, you know... I can disable enemy weapons using disruptor sabotage ammo. 
you never know like when you're actually going to be able to upload them so i just i had I five slots shots. i bought six I pick my targets wisely what's the catch now, this isn't that disabled the firearm if I use the disruptor again, it'll explode when fired, knocking out the user and flooring anyone nearby. Yes, that's what I would love to do if you would stop talking about it. Equipment sabotaged. Time to introduce myself. So see now we're now friends. What's it like working for dead? Oh, we also just unlocked Beneath the Surface, which is another season of infamy with uh Killer Croc. I could have done a fear multi take down there. I didn't even realize. See those gun guys blow up like idiots. Ow! How dare you? No, put that down. Oh, he did get me with that. Son of a bitch. What? Yeah, some of these combat encounters are still pretty challenging. Let's see. A truck full of weapons and explosives. I can use the disruptor's tracker ammo to tag the vehicle and follow it across Gotham. That would be cool to have a good Nightwing movie. I would not be opposed to that. Now I just need to give them a little motivation to lead me back to their hideout. What did you forget? No, no, no! It's Batman! Get the hell out of here! Subtlety works. Every time. If I stick to the rooftops, I'll be able to follow them right back to Penguin's weapons cache. That's the mark I was trying to hit the whole time. Main locked, even through buildings. As long as I keep the target in view and within range. What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? Now we just gotta fly around and follow this vehicle till it gets to its intended destination. I, uh... I've always had kind of a soft spot for Dick Grayson. I think he's just a great character. You know, in some ways he's even better than Bruce Wayne. As a crime fighter. Because he's just that good. But I think the thing that I've always liked the most about him is how, like... He's probably always had the closest relationship with Bruce Wayne and Batman. Like, you know, the longer Batman goes, the more people he connects with, and he extends the Bat family, and he cares about everybody, obviously. But, like, Dick Grayson was the first person to really, like, crack that shell that Bruce Wayne had put up. And, like, you know actually like let him feel human emotions again <laughs> and I don't know I've just always I've always loved him for that that and the fact that he's so good at what he does he's just a total badass you know I think he would look up for that. I was trying to get other guys to go over there too. Hey, bats! Don't look at over here. Damn it. Alright, guess we'll do it the old fashioned way. Since you guys just had to be wankers about it, you just had to.
Where's that guy? He was right there. Okay. The roof was heavily protected. This must be the way inside. Whew. Gets a little hairy there when they're shooting Come at you. On, do something. You're making me look stupid here. You like the run of the comics where he's Batman and Damien is Robin? I actually haven't read a lot of those. There's so many comics out there. It's just not enough time to read them all, you know? I'm still in the middle of uh, the IDW TMNT. He doesn't even know you're here. Come on. As you're aware, and this truly breaks my heart, lads, we've been working with the other freaks to take down the bat together. I know, I know. One day, DC will get their shit together for movies. I hope so. Yeah, I've seen The Killing Joke. I liked it. It's it's kind of weird. They added some stuff they really didn't have to add, but it's it's still good. Just keep handing out guns to any loser who comes in here with a fistful of cash. This arrangement with Scarecrow is strictly short term. The clown's dead, and Batman soon will be. Then Gotham's ours for the taking. And I am going to take. I want it all. If someone even looks at this city, I want my cut. Then we kill Dent and the others, right? Two Face killed my brother back in Arkham City. He should be dead, not Robin Banks. Now that's not very nice, is it? You don't pay us to be nice. <laughs> Give that man a cigar. Of course we're gonna kill that ugly, twisted son of a bitch. We're gonna kill them all, lads. I didn't know they were making an animated version of Long Halloween. That will be good. Okay, I think he's done yammering. The Arkham Knight, Barbara Gordon. Tell me where they are. So that's who we had. The commissioner's little girl. No, no. Don't be an idiot. You get punched in the dick. I'll break every bone in your body, Cobblepot. They were going to see some keys are called Simon Stag. I think he runs a pharmaceutical company. Motherfucker, do you not know who I am? You must not know who the fuck I am. Do not lie to me. <laughs> I'm not. I swear. He said he's about to leave Gotham. And those airships over the West River, it, it belonged to him. Put him down. We'll shoot, bud. Five. Drop him. Four. We'll... Nope. Won't do you any good. Scarecrow's gonna break you. You are going down, Batman. Hold him steady, fellas. I've been working on my swing. Watch and learn. Gonna knock his head right out of the. <laughs> this is you handling it, right? I don't worry. You can thank me later. All right, don't be smart, Dick. Dual team takedown. Nightwing time. Nightwing's a badass. Fuck it up, the big guy as Nightwing. See, he can do some cool stuff too, but I can't remember how to do all his stuff. He's got... Oh yeah, he's got this. Yeah, electrified bitches. These charging guys get me every time. Nope. Nice try.
All right, that was almost a perfect fight. Just messed up like one time. Could have been worse. We can't let any of these weapons get onto the street. This cache needs to be destroyed. Just like old times, huh? Me coming in at the last minute to save your ass. That's not... Okay. There's a lot of money here, Bruce. This operation is big. Penguin knows we're tracking him. He's going to make sure we have our hands full next time. Who's my favorite villain in Batman the Animated Series? The answer may surprise you. I'm actually a really big fan of Scarface. Judging by the company here, I don't think we've got too much to worry about. <clears throat> I think he's uh, very underrated as a villain, and I wish that he would get used more, uh, specifically in the animated series. Bruce, you need to let me help. He was just a fascinating character. I to had be. it under control. I told you I need you back in Bloodhaven. Oh, Scarecrow, these weapons, this all affects Bloodhaven too. The best place for me is here. Look, with the amount of weapons Penguin has been running into Gotham, this cannot be everything. He must have other caches in the city. Search this place for evidence. It should help us locate more of Penguin's refrigeration trucks. Anime is so cool. Thank you for the follow. Well, uh, and I agree with you. Anime yeah, is cool. Out of business, eh? <laughs> Whoa, wanker. <laughs> Seriously? Do you believe that accent? That he only puts it on to sound scary. You do love Al Pacino's acting in Scarface? Yeah, I'm saying. No, you're supposed to put it on the guns, Batman. Let's what are you doing? We've got a pile of explosives. You've got explosive gel. It doesn't take the world's greatest detective to figure this one out. Shut up, Joker. Are you out of your tiny mind, Bats? Pull that trigger and you'll kill us both. Yeah, I won't let you do it while you're standing in here. I need to Pull shut the trigger, vault door first. Contain the blast. Normally, I'd pay good money to see that kind of thing, but we really don't have the time. Oh, this is funny. Check this out, guys. What are you doing? Bats? Come on! <laughs> Don't lock me in here. I'll do anything. Want the laundry done? I'll do it. How about Alfred? You got it! Imagine Joker doing your laundry. I wouldn't like to be that guy. <laughs> I shouldn't detonate until I'm further away. Oh, fine. You're such a worry wart, Batman. Jesus. And that takes care of that. Yeah, all of the penguin side quests are a lot like this one. They're just really fun. Nightwing shows up. I'm going after Barbara. I'll contact you as soon as I track down any of Penguin's trucks. Thanks, Dick. I appreciate it. What are friends for, Bruce? Well, what do you know? The old team back together again. Yeah. Classic. You should head to those airships. I can handle things here. Don't worry, Bruce. I'll help track down Cobblepot. Just focus on finding Barb. It's been years since you watched the animated series. Uh, so, I actually haven't watched it in quite a while either, but I actually own the Blu-ray set. I just haven't taken the time to sit down Alfred, and find out everything you can uh, actually watch the Blu-rays yet. The pharmaceutical magnet? Of course, sir. Now, what have we got here? A good old-fashioned ambush. Oh, you wait there, Bats. Let your dear old Uncle Jay sort out these chumps. I can handle it. Though it has been a while. Maybe a little rusty. You ready to see some Joker moves? <laughs> So silly. So silly. Um, I actually don't remember what we do about this. Oh, it's probably the car. Come to think of it. I need to find somewhere I can get a clear shot to take out the militia ambush. Yeah, same, Norman. I've got the animated series and I've got Batman Beyond on Blu-ray and I just haven't made the time to sit down and watch through them. I mean, I've seen them all. Many, many times before. It was definitely you. You're the sniper. I'm from close range fire. Since when? Since now. No one. Just wait and see what happens. He's probably dead anyway. Of course he is. A professional. He didn't stand a chance. Exactly. We should just go collect the check and head out of this damn city. Can't wait. I hate this place. 
I don't remember how to get to the place I need to get to. It's like, uh, oh, here it is. Got it. It's weird that they don't give you a waypoint for this. But as long as you're paying attention, I guess you don't really need one. Surprise, motherfuckers. Ah, easy. Oh, personally, I would have used live rounds. <laughs> Alfred, what do you have on Simon Stagg? Now, uh, let's see. CEO of Stagg Enterprises, a company that specializes in advanced medical research and development. I'm heading to Stagg's airships now. The Scarecrow was on his way there, and that's our only link to finding Barbara. The threat analysis indicates that Founders Island is covered by the militia's long-range radar and missile launchers. The Batmobile will be detected and targeted as soon as you cross the bridge. Don't worry, Alfred. I'll go in on foot and stick to the rooftops. Find me the schematics of those airships. Right away. Best of luck, sir. Okay. I don't really feel like getting into the airship section today, so instead, let's just do like a couple more side things. Let's go do another Riddler thing. Riddler's trials in Kingston. He's been toying with me so far, enjoying the sense of control. Because it's like really close. Took out everybody. The entrance. That was awesome. But I need to secure the area first. Wait, what's this one called? Oh, I missed what this one's called. Oh, detective! I can't tell you how pleased I am that you're playing along with my little game. You literally cannot imagine what it's like to be so intellectually removed from the rest of the human race. <laughs> I couldn't honestly say you offer me a battle of wits, Dark Knight, but your feeble resistance makes a pleasant change from the instant capitulation of everyone else. Schematics? I've heard people say it that way before, but I think that is technically incorrect. You think it was called Night School? Okay. I don't remember what this challenge is. Oh, dear. Oh, this one. Uh, I think it's called Flight School. Yeah, I think flight school is what it is. Okay, this is probably going to take a couple tries. But let's see what I can pull off here. Wow, I really didn't keep any air from that at all. That kind of sucked. But that's okay. Okay. Get some good air. Turn. That's two down, detective. Be careful of the death trap en route to the next one. Now, I almost wonder if it'd be better for me to just use the line up there. No. Doesn't let me do that. Okay. I don't like how if you have that eject fully upgraded, you can't actually use it in here. They should have made the roof a little higher. Damn it! You're actually a variety of squirrel. Okay, I didn't even charge it fully that time. That was bullshit. Alright, let's just do a regular launch then. That should be enough. I think we'll be fine. Oh, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> 
to popular belief, very few bats survive on blood. Most species subsist on insects, whereas you prefer to live off undeserved praise. There we go. Dude, the first time I played this game... Good work, Detective. You are literally as capable as the digit-flapping mammal you pointlessly pretend to be. The next key awaits you. That part must have taken me 18,000 tries to do that. Alone to choose the key, she'll die without my help. Also, it's interesting. All these patterns are different. On regular mode, uh, all these patterns that you have to figure out to get the keys, they actually spell out Batman. <laughs> There's like one's a B, one's an A, so on and so on. This time they seem a little bit more random. They don't seem to be forming letters of any sort that I can decipher. You're trying to get the Batman animated series for your birthday next month from your father? Nice. I hope you get it. Everyone should own a copy of Batman the Animated Series. All right, so <clears throat> we got to line it up so it's three, four, one. Only one in the bottom left corner, and then it's the second from the top in the middle. More cabinets. Great. I love this part. So it should be... Did I say three, four, one? I meant three, four, two. But in any case, it's this one right here. Okay. Time to possibly maybe die. Well, this is not how I wanted to spend my night. Another key collected. I, I trust you're not giving her false hope, detective. Oh, good. More fun. Intro to physics. Oh, I think that's a good one. Challenging, but good. If I remember what it is. Detective, you have passed another test. I cannot help but admire the spirit with which you have thrown yourself into a task for which you are woefully under-equipped. I almost feel guilty when I contemplate what's coming, but not so guilty that I'm going to call it off. Head back to the orphanage, Detective. Another of my riddle rooms is waiting. Yeah, we're not going to get to that tonight, but we'll get to it. Let's do, like, one more side thing. I want to just go find, like, a tower to bring down or something. It's got to be... something like that somewhere around here. Well, not on this island, apparently. Ooh, there's one over there. Let's go do that one. Did Riddler pre-record these, or is it live? I believe it is live, because he will sometimes react to things in real time. Like the first race you do when you hack the code to control the obstacles, he reacts to that immediately. So the implication is that it's real time. Right, so this one's kind of set up for you already. We're going to hack this bitch. No, you should really worry about it. But now it's too late, and you can't. Should've worried more.
Did he foresee me doing that and pre-record a reaction to it? I kind of doubt that. Kind of doubt it. But, you know, anything's possible, I guess. All right, well, that one was boring, but, you know, it is what it is. So, okay. I think it's about time for me to head out, guys. That was a good stream. Good three hours, almost. But it's getting late. It is Sunday. I've got work tomorrow. I need to eat. Uh, wow. I had a lot of fun tonight. I really enjoy this game. I really appreciate the raid. I appreciate the gift subs from everybody, the follows and the gift subs. Um, Angel Productions, dude, it was so awesome. It was awesome meeting you. Thank you for the support. I really mean it. That's that's crazy. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know if there's anybody online that I want to raid right now. I got to get better about raiding people. Let me see real quick. If anyone I follow is online. Oh, okay. So I don't know her personally, but I do follow Brianna Knickerbocker. She's actually a voice actress who plays, um, she doesn't really play stuff on Twitch. She just does like just chatting streams where like she watches stuff, uh, with her viewers on like Netflix and stuff like that. Um, I follow her because she's actually the voice of Shen Hua in Shenmue three. So I have a lot of respect for her and, uh, I'm just going to give her a raid. So, uh, stick around if you're so inclined, give her a shout out from me. And, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. I really appreciate everything. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Something went wrong with the raid. What the fuck does that mean?